Good morning, friends. I, I was prompted, oh, I was so prompted by the Holy Spirit to grab the camera and speak to all of you. There has been so much um, going on in my life right now, and God is indeed working mightily. And it's gotten to a point where the Holy Spirit said, you have to share this. And I was prompted by um, a lot of people who have been writing me and telling me their stories of coming to the channel and following me for all these years and being touched by how much I love the Lord and seeing how the Lord works in my life. You people have been through the storms with me and you have given me your own testimony and where you're at with God. And every time it comes back to me, I see the power of how he works through us. And I was reminded yesterday and the day before how powerful God is using this channel. And it's not time for me to put it all away yet. So this morning I want to share with you um, what I wrote on my Facebook page the other day, my personal Facebook page, and I wanted to start with that because the Holy Spirit was just um, on fire. Last Sunday, life changed as I knew it and know it in a blink of an eye. We do not know where life leads us. Often we think we know the plan. We think we know tomorrow and next week. But in the big scheme of things, we really know nothing at all. This is when God and his sovereignty begins to shine and hits you in the face of your own life and its meaning in the context of who created you and why you are here. I have been given another road to journey down. I didn't choose it. I don't want it. And in fact, it's scaring me a bit. But I know my God is bigger than all of it. And he chose me because he loves me. And he knows this too will bring me to the destination he wants for me. As this trial unfolds before me, God is beginning to show me some things that I believe are very important for all of us in our walk. Pay attention. For you may one day be finding yourself in the same situation, asking questions that you weren't prepared for. And if you do not know God, you may find yourself hopelessly falling down a hole you may never recover from. Physically, I'm not doing well. I've gotten to the point, well, I'm not able to walk very far. It's crippling and painful and embarrassing. I watch people walk now and shake my head at my selfish denial how blessed I was to run and bike and hike. And now I look at people walking and I feel remorse and regret that I cannot do it anymore. There have been days where I've had to stay in bed completely. And in bed has been torturous as well. Because of all the medications, my body's in a horrible state, and I feel like I'm becoming toxic. Why do you share? So why do I share how I am with you? Is it for pity? No. No, because God tells me. Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing. I tell you this so you can visualize how poorly I am physically doing so that you understand how spiritually and powerfully this trial is and the warfare that is going on around us. Trials we may be going through may manifest itself in many different ways, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, financially, spiritually. It's important to remember that trials come to bring out the character of Christ in us. 
When we have patience, we will be perfect, complete, and lacking nothing. There is a lot more to my Facebook um, writings, but in the end, what I, I, I closed with was God needed all of me right now. I had to humble myself and ask for help again. I had come to a place where I needed the Lord and the Lord alone. I needed his people. I needed his help. I needed his word. I needed all of it. And then I asked, have you found that need yet? Trust me, that need is God. Now, friends, I need you to really listen. Because what I just read about how I needed God, how I needed God, I came to that place just a couple days ago. And uh, this morning, this is why the Holy Spirit said, you got to bring out the camera. As I rolled over in bed and opened up my devotional this morning, after writing that on Facebook, this is what the Lord brought me. Your needs, your needs, and my riches are a perfect fit. I never meant for you to be self-sufficient. <laughs> Instead, I designed you to need me, not only for daily bread, but also for fulfillment of deep yearnings. I carefully crafted your longings and feelings of incompleteness to point you to me. Therefore, do not try to bury or deny these feelings. Beware also of trying to pacify these longings with lesser gods, people, possessions, power. Come to me with all your neediness, with defenses down, with desire to be blessed. As you spend time in my presence, your deepest longings are fulfilled. Rejoice in your neediness, which enables you to find intimate completion in me. So my friends, it wasn't just, it just wasn't the, the devotion that prompted me to bring the camera out. I also received couple letters from people like you who are watching and one of them touched me so deeply that it only had to be orchestrated by God and his timing was so perfect at a time when I was spiritually low very low and you know we've all been there right we've all been there I received this letter just the other day and it started off like many letters. Um, Dear Stacy, many months ago I began following your YouTube channel and was blessed that through your daily life you would speak of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. When I first started listening to you, when I first started listening to your channel, I was drawn by your homestead. But as I listened more and more, I was more drawn to your faith and belief in God. And the homestead part began to fall away as I was growing in God and it became very clear to me that nothing mattered except my relationship. My friends, when I read that, I just, I just began to weep because I knew what she was saying was coming from the Holy Spirit and um, it was going to be big and it was. She then wrote, so why am I writing to you? She said, the Father uses me to guide and direct others that are in search of a deeper walk with Him. As I said earlier, while I was first watching your videos concerning Homestead, because I foolishly believed that God would heal me and allow me to live that dream, it was how you spoke of God that kept me coming back. Father showed me even before your divorce that your relationship was rapidly deteriorating. My heart so went out to you because I knew the pain that you were facing in your life. I also knew that God had his hand on your life and he was about to change it big time. I know how divorce is hard 
But I also know that when God is drawing someone to himself for his work, he will divide the light from the darkness as he has done in your life. And that is the heart of the thing here. God is drawing you to himself. My friends, I, I cannot tell you what an impact this had when I was reading it. And she went on to say, when God's hand is on someone, he requires that person to give up all, everything to him. He is a jealous God and he knows that unless you are willing to give up everything to him, then you cannot be faithful to one. The marriage feast of the Lamb of God is complete oneness with God, with Christ. And then I read the words that said, Father says, you're beginning to see what is required of you and that you need encouragement and guidance to let you know you are on the right path. Things are going to move quickly because we are in the 11th hour and God is doing a quick work so that his very elect will not be deceived. I cannot, I cannot tell you how powerful that was and how I just could not stop crying. In my greatest hour, and I'm telling you the other day, it was in my greatest hour, I'm reading these words. I'm reading these words. And it's exactly what Father, what I needed from Him. You're beginning to see what is required of you and that you need encouragement and guidance and to let you know that you are on the right path. She said, be encouraged for you are right where you are supposed to be in God. Just trust and depend on Him for all things in your life leaning not on your own understanding. That letter, that letter started a whole spiritual revolution, my friends. Everything came together that day and God moved in a big way. And there was so much more than just that letter, but that was just the tip of the iceberg. And then rolling over this morning, and getting confirmation again. You see how God works in our lives? And so now I grab the camera because I am called to grab the camera and keep sharing. There has been so much that God has done for me. And from the letters I read from me for you, and he continues to just work so wonderfully in our lives. What we have here is real fellowship and unity. The body of Christ that is growing, it's gaining strength. And it's a spiritual warfare. But we all know that we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us, right? Well, he has changed this channel. And now he is bringing his sheep here. I don't know why he's using me. I don't know why he uses you. He just brings us here and here we find ourselves together sharing and listening and praying for each other. And it, it's, it's people from all over. People who are spiritually dead. People who have left God. People who barely know God. People that know God powerfully but then lose their love and their way. People who have doubts. People are still asking questions. The people who are mad. And people who just, they don't know. They don't know why they're here. And they don't know if there's even a God. But you're here and you're listening. And we know that on this channel there comes people that are in sheep's clothing, that are wolves. And we're going to keep seeing that. We're going to see that defiance and we're going to see that. We're going to see it. And we have to put the full armor of God on. But I'm going to keep sharing. Because 
when we share our testimony, when more than one and two and three come together, there God is going to be in the midst, and he's in the midst of this. And Satan can't steal that away. Satan can't do nothing about it. And that's why I'm sharing. Okay, and I know this is long, but I want to leave you with something that um, the Holy Spirit gave me at the end of the day. I just, like, he's like, go to Revelations. And I really think he wants you to hear this because it gives all of us such hope. He led me to this verse here. Behold, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him even those who pierced him, and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I'm gonna be back. I don't know when. But God wants me to keep sharing. And we're going to walk by faith and not by sight anymore.